Hi folks, so today you're going to be having an insight into what my secret is for the 10 pack. Okay, now I'll be straight up with you. The main secret is diet. Okay, so the abs are made in the kitchen, that is a true saying. Okay, so diet is key. You need to eat right, regardless of what you do in the gym. Don't waste all that hard work if you're not going to eat right. Okay, you need to eat right. And basically, cardio. Okay, you need to move. So, I always do cardio. At the moment, I've got a body power, which is tomorrow, body power expo. And um, the only cardio I've done to this, to be honest now, for this, instead of the high intensity cardio I've done in the past, I've just literally, I got a Fitbit, which tracks my steps and my movements. So I've been keeping track on how much activity I've been doing. I've just been walking more. That's all I've been doing with cardio. You know, you can see the physique I've obtained. Walking, 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 basically, just moving more. I've been hitting between about 12,000, 15,000 steps a day, okay? And then obviously on top of that then, to add the thickness to the abs, as you can see there, they're pretty thick at the moment, and pumped. Um, I've been doing the ab workout, which you're gonna see on the video. Okay, I've been mixing and matching those exercises. All the exercises you're gonna see in this video are my favorite exercises, my personal favorite exercises, the ones which have thickened my abs out and made them more prominent. But as I say, the key to a good set of washboard abs, I'll be straight with you firstly, is genetics, okay? Genetics will load the gun and will give you kind of like the physique you've got. But then you've got to put the hard work in then to release, obviously, whatever's under there. Okay, you've got to put the hard work in. But cardio is key, you've got to move. Um, you can do high intensity cardio as well if you like, but I would say not to do that more than, say, uh, two, three times a week, because it taxes the nervous system. Um, bear in mind, obviously, weight training is obviously taxing on the nervous system. Uh, I didn't mention that, actually, come to think of it. Weight training is the most important exercise, because when you build lean muscle, your body will oxidize more fat. Uh, therefore, then you'll, you'll, you'll lose body fat from lifting weights uh, because your metabolism is working more efficiently due to your lean muscle mass. Uh, now, the cardiovascular side of it now is going to burn any, any stubborn fat. Uh, but firstly, the diet is key though. So that combination of diet and cardio and just moving more basically on top of weight training and then obviously with the abdominal workouts then just to take you up to the next level. You know, those abdominal workouts, the abdominal workout you've seen on the video will get you results. Okay, so uh, check out my website, www.martinsilver.co.uk. I have a numerous different plans on there. Feel free to message me and inquire. Uh, also, check out my Instagram, which is uh, where I do most of my uh, most of my posts are done through my Instagram, Martin Silver WBFF Pro. Didn't mention WBF, WBFF Pro Fitness Model, and I'll be competing um, for the world title in the end of August. At the end of August. Um, in Toronto, Canada. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, follow me on Instagram, Martin Silver, Daily BFF Pro, and also on Facebook. My Facebook page is the same. My fitness page, Martin Silver, Daily BFF Pro. Like my page, and uh, my Instagram is linked to that page. You'll see everything. And uh, it'd be great if you could follow my journey. I'm going to be posting more stuff onto my YouTube channel now because I haven't been as, as uh, sharp on my YouTube channel as I'd like to be. We're we'll posting more stuff on there now, more workouts for you guys. So stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Oblique twists, hanging. Twist the knees out to the side. Lift the knees up nice and high above hip height. Keep the arms extended. Decelerate on the way down. Keep control on the way down. Aim not to swing. And make sure you're flexing. Weighted Roman chair knee ups. So bring the knees up again, nice and high, well above the hips. Decelerate down nice and steady. Keep the shoulders back and down and relaxed. Keep the head in a neutral position. So you're looking straight forward, chin tucked in. And just keep that element of control as you're decelerating down. Keep driving those knees up. Focus on that breathing pattern also. Inhale as you drop the legs down and extend. Exhale as you raise the knees up. Ab rollouts. So keep the arms extended. 
make sure with this, I find the key thing is to keep the glutes activated. So make sure you tense those bum muscles and that will keep the hips stable and prevent you from arching your back and compensating. Keep that stomach drawn in tight as you go down towards the floor. Keep that stomach locked in. Keep the belly button drawn in towards the spine. Make sure you have a good level of core strength before you attempt this exercise. Because it could put strain on the lower back if done incorrectly. And just keep that control. Roll it in. And then take it overhead. Keeping those arms extended. Crunches with a hip thrust. You may not see it properly on the video, but what you can see, what I am doing is I'm lifting my bum up off the floor and I'm pushing my feet into the bench as I'm crunching. So I'm raising my shoulder blades up off the floor, lifting my hips up, tensing my glutes, and pushing my feet into the bench. Okay, so as you can see now, shoulder blades up, hips come up, contract the core. And you'll find you really hit the lower ab as well as the upper abdominals on this exercise. And by pushing the feet in there and you're making the abs work extra hard to contract as you raise those hips up. So it's shoulder blades up, hips up, crunch, squeeze and make sure you hold that contraction for like two seconds and then come down nice and steady. So don't rush the reps, don't throw any reps away because you'll never get those reps back. Crunches with the rope, weighted crunches. So again, make sure you have a good, uh, good level of core strength before you attempt this one. Okay, and all you're doing with this one now is quite tricky to actually feel this in the right areas, okay? So you're basically flexing your spine. So it's exactly the same as what i just done pretty much on the floor, uh, just with weight. So all you're doing is you're just try kind of pushing your elbows in towards your knees. And then by doing that, then you're kind of contracting the abs. So make sure you kind of squeeze the abs as you bring the elbows down. You really tense those abs, draw your belly button in towards your spine. As you come down there, crunch. Okay, so you contracting those abs and then you're extending the spine then just to fully lengthen them back out to ensure you get a full contraction on those abdominals side crunches okay i'm doing this on uh what you would do back extensions on on that type of contraction uh contraption even and uh basically you're going to be just crunching to the side okay activating the obliques okay so you're going to stretch out so you're going to lean right down and then you're going to crunch Okay, so you're just going to like kind of bring that elbow in towards your side. Make sure you get that full range of motion. Okay, so you're tilting right down. Really stretching out those obliques and making them work and contract under tension. I tend not to use weight for this one because uh, I'm scared of it making my waist bigger, whether or not that's true. But I just don't think it's necessary with this exercise. V-sits. Okay, you can do weighted or body weights. Obviously, start off with body weight first. Keep the legs and arms extended. You don't have to sit up too high. Some people do it like gymnasts and stuff where they come right the way up. Don't think it's necessary for the area you're looking to work. Okay, so basically, just raising those shoulder blades up. You can see I've got weight here. Raising those shoulder blades up off the mats and lifting the legs up at exactly the same time in sync together. Okay, so you're, you're basically contracting the whole abdominal area here. It's one of my favorite exercises. And um, yeah, so shoulder blades up, legs extended, and raise them both up together. Okay, the jackknife with the stability ball. So what you're doing here is you're basically, I'm using the bench here to keep myself parallel, roughly. Okay, and you're gonna find your balance first on the stability ball, and then you're bringing your knees through the gap there in your arms, okay? So you're flexing that spine, tucking the knees through, and squeezing those abs as you bring those knees in, really squeezing those abs, and then extending, but not really pausing in between reps, keeping constant tension on the abs, Get the lactic acid build up so you start feeling that burn. And that's when you're really kind of tearing the abs and making them work. So as you can see, the knees come through the middle there and just continuous reps, keeping that control. <laughs> 